Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer on this Tuesday 25th of April 2023 and uh, tonight we've been asked to remember Mark the Evangelist so as we gather together perhaps an opportunity to reflect upon the day that has been the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth we say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And we say together our night hymn. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our appointed psalm this evening is Psalm 104. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works, and wisdoms you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that Levithian, which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure for ever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading tonight is from Revelation chapter 22, verses 4 and 5. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now for the Dunk Demetrius. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Grant us your light, O Lord, that the darkness of our hearts being overcome, we may receive the true light, even Christ our Saviour. Alleluia. Let us pray. Loving God, as we come together, we give thanks and reflect upon the day that has been. The conversations we've had, the people we've met. We thank you for the rich blessings that we have received as we remain never mindful of those for who this day may have been difficult for those who've perhaps been in pain or discomfort for those who've been struggling with their physical or mental health 
We lift them to you, O Lord, this night. Praying also for those who will be working this evening, those undertaking the night shift at local hospitals and our emergency services. We pray also for our night economy, pubs, restaurants and theatre. For all that will take place this night, we ask for your blessing upon it that it will only be a night of peace and rest keeping in mind those who may be mourning, for those who may be sitting at a bedside, for those known to us in hospital. We pray also for those who this night may be the last and for those who will be born during the hours of this night. So, Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Bide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us. As he renews the whole of creation, may our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening for night prayer. Wherever you are, please have a safe night. And do join us for morning prayer at nine and night prayer again at six. Good night and God bless. Bye for now. Bye.